Hi guys, I'm Ed and welcome to Night in the Woods. Night in the Woods has been out for a couple of months, so we're a little bit behind, but apparently it's one of the most story-rich games in the world and has a really, really beautiful art style behind it. And I really wanted to jump in and try it on the channel. So if you guys have seen this before, you've seen other people play it, or you are anticipating seeing this on the GameHog channel, be sure to like the video, subscribe to GameHog if you already haven't, and leave us a comment saying... something. In the year Grandad died. Oh, I can change the option. Okay, what do we want the story to be? We had the worst flood since 1998. Greg got trapped on top of a doghouse. The power was up for two days. Casey Hartley came by in Dad's boat. Okay. I laughed when I saw him. Grandad left me an apple crate of books. He loved ghost stories and quoted them to himself in the hospital bed. In their wings in the trees, they feared death. They went looking for the gods. I like that. They went looking for the gods and died in lonely places. Not really great last words. Oh, on his last day, he sat up suddenly and stared bug-eyed through the window at the old parking lots, at the old empty mill, at the old playground, at the old trains. Let's go for old trains. Rattling to somewhere else from somewhere else. He turned to my dad, eyes still wide. This house is haunted, he said, and died. Ooh, dramatic text-filled opening that's made me already goosebumpy. I wonder what all that was about. I'm sure we'll find out later in the story. Well, this is the main character, and this is the lovely art style I was talking about. Look at it, it's all 2D and lovely looking. Well, this is great. I mean, I didn't expect a party or anything, but I figured someone would be here. Ellipses. Welcome home, May. So this must be May. Hi, May. I'm Ed. Wow, when did they put this up? Possum Springs has never looked more... falsely advertised. So, all right, okay, so we've got a nice cynical me kind of character. That's good. I feel like I'm already associating with this game. It must be such a relief to payphone companies that Possum Springs gets zero cell reception. It'd be cool to call my parents, but some jerkhole took the time to actually rip it off. Who steals a phone? Well, someone might want it for their... Bedroom? Fiasco Fox, you are too dreamy. Oh, I was about to assume a gender. Is May a boy or a girl? Or is this going to be a giant Tumblr metaphor? Ooh, telly! I love this show. Welcome back to Gob and Malai! What's in the news today, Malai? What is? Markets were up today! Way up! TV here is really boring. <laughs> Screw you, we're not listening to you anymore. Hello, bird person. I am bird person. Excuse me, but where is everybody? It's 10.45. It's closed. Not a lot of folks getting off the last bus to Possum Springs these days. Just you. I just noticed Garbo and Malloy is still playing in the background. Gotta get political every now and again. Y yep. So are you the janitor or something? Looks that way. What do you do? I fix this door. That's it? Nope. What's, what, what's this guy's problem? Can I squeeze past you? Nope. Just broke the damn thing. When do you think it might be done? Right after you go grab me a Fias Cola from the machine. A Fias Cola. Okay. Am I paying for this? I always rig it when I'm here after hours. Nice. Free as in free. Free as in no one's here to say otherwise. All right, fine. We'll go get you a free cola, you cheap. Fiasco Fox, give me a cola. They have lime fiasco and he wants a Fias Cola. That's just a waste. <laughs> See, I like the kind of Undertale-esque charm and earth bounty charm that these games all have, where the dialogue is just nicely crafted. It's kind of like uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day in a way. Oh, dude! Cool! How do I... Yeah! Yeah! Excuse me, sir, I've got your Fias Cola. One free ass cola. <laughs> you just drill the ass of that open? Yummers. So what are you doing here? I live here. Well, lived here. Huh? Strange. When do you think that door's gonna be finished? Now. Goodbye. Uh, bye. What an asshole! <laughs> All right, fine. Let's head out to where that guy went. Cool. Oh, so that was just the bus station. I'm not walking back out on the highway. Probably get hit by a car or something. Hey, where did that janitor go? Did he walk? Did he come? Well, they're right outside town. Mum and dad nowhere to be found. Dark and cold. Guess I'm walking. 
alone. Well, fair enough. I'm already loving this game so far. I like- I'm just gonna interact with everything. The bus station is maybe the newest thing in Possum Springs. Guess they got state funding or something. Makes a good first or last impression, I suppose. If not for the abandoned glass factory back there. Not getting rid of that anytime soon. Lots of exposition. I'm learning a lot about the kind of surrounding village just by interacting with all this. Wow, I didn't realize how much I missed the sound of that train. That is a fucking loud train! That train is miles away! Jesus! I used to hear it in my bed at night, during the winter when the leaves were down. Ah, oh, this is so nice! This just feels cozy and homely. I guess I'm gonna hike through the woods. You could say, it's a night in the woods! Yeah! Okay, let's carry on this night in the woods. Well, I guess that concludes the episode, in a way, or is more dramatic stuff gonna happen? I can jump! There used to be an old sawmill around here, I think. I mean, the park up there is called Sawmill Park. Looks like they lost a log load at some point. <sighs> gonna have to climb this, I guess. Okay, that's a very nice, helpful expositionary dialogue. Very good. Oh, the use of 2D mechanics in this is just wonderful! How do I get out? My name is May, and you're going to break me! May is Bay! Oh, there we go. Good! We've lost that log load. Get up, May. Oh my god. That was dangerous. I could have died. That was amazing! <laughs> I'm not gonna die in this hole. Great. I love May already. May's a very relatable character because she's kind of that sarky voice that the audience should be. Murph loves RT. Are we gonna meet these characters? I'm so excited! Wow, I haven't been here in maybe 10 years and apparently no one else has. Where are we? Is this a kind of graveyard? I don't know what they were going for here. Some sort of boat castle? Most of it's gone now. Just the thing for weird animals to eat and have babies in. Just the idea of getting up on here and looking inside and being like, Oh! Oh! Oh, it's full of semen up there! Ahoy! I definitely remember barely reaching the top of this wheel. I definitely remember barely growing since then. Interesting. I'm learning a lot. I kind of want a bit more to kick in at the moment. Oh, come on. Don't think I have the upper body strength to climb this. Oh god, okay, so what do I have to do then? More puzzles before story. Jumpity, jumpity, jump! Oh, cack. It's fine, I could do this. May is bay! Good. Oh, for f I just want to climb the spunk covered boat. Is that too much to ask? How do I. No! It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. This isn't a big deal. Oh, I made it. It's only been two years since I lived here. Not in this playground. Possum Springs, I mean. This is all getting jumbled. I should write it down. Oh, okay. R.I.P. Grandad. Options. That's definitely not what I wanted. Here's a power line. Oh, this is so neat. Fuck. Stop getting distracted by the nice background and the nice backing music. Get on top, get on top of these, jump on top of the branch! How did I- Is this some kind of double jump? Is that what it is? Oh, it is some kind of double jump. I was right. Okay, back on the type wire. Type wire, tight wire. Fuck. Hooray! Oh! Hello, May! Been a while! Hey, what are you doing out here? Nothing better to do? I was out here doing my rounds and saw you in a very off-limits playground. So? Get in the car, May. No. You want to spend your first night back in jail, May? Do you? No. No. I'll be good. Is this our- Is this our father? Oh my god, I think it might be! Hi, Dad. Hey, remember me? Ah! May, you gave me a heart attack. Good! I need to give him a better voice. May, honey, we thought you were coming tomorrow night. You thought wrong! How did you get here? I walked until I got arrested. By Aunt Moll Cup. Oh, did you say hi to Molly for me? No! I say hi for no one! <laughs> F the cops! <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'll go to bed. Is my bed still here? Or are we waiting for tomorrow night for that too? Way! Ah, oh, me, so good to hear that voice again. Good night! Hey, look! It's a cat clock. I'm a cat. So that's... That's kind of weird. I don't have a clock that's got people on it, so why have you got... Never mind. Fuck you, old man! I'm going up to bed! Hey, look! A, a 
a, a bird whistle? Oh, it's a nightlight. My mistake. Hello, clock. There's a few things hanging around in here from the old country. This clock, the trunk in the storage room, and whatever's buried under the house after the cement incident. The cement incident? This thing goes off randomly every month or so. Little wooden duck pops out, makes the weirdest sound. Scares dad half to death every time. Used to joke that granddad was getting even- Whoa. Jesus. Where are we going? No, don't go down there, for goodness sake. We're trying to go to your bedroom. I assume this is your bedroom. Let me in! Uh, 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 yeah. He's listening to his parents, fuck. So this must be my room. And a guitar, and lizards, and sacred youth. Sounds like some of that old school hip hop, if you ask me. Look how nice all the animations are for this. It's just such a beautifully crafted game. Its soundtrack is wonderful. Already the characters feel very vibrant, and it's explaining itself very well by weaving exposition into narrative. It's good. Wake up, May! What was that? What did I just witness? Oh look, a picture of my parents who don't actually love me. Cuties, the lot of us. We could have had a traveling show. The cute Borowskis. Were they... Oh, May Borowski, is that your name? Am I figuring this all out? Ooh, what's this? Ugh. Since when is the crawl space all jammed up? I wonder if mom and dad can move them. I wonder if dad can move them. Ah, shit. Dad should move them. It's only fair. Ah, oh, you lazy, entitled bitch. Honey? Yeah? Come see me in the kitchen before you leave! Okay. I'm coming to the kitchen. Or am I? You'll never see me. Old man cat! Oh, there's a woman! This is my mother! Hi, mum! Welcome home, sweetie. Thanks for not changing the locks. Sorry, we mixed up the day you were coming back. It was such short notice. It's okay, mum. May, honey. Yeah? Is everything okay? What do you mean? Honey, did something happen? I just needed to come home. Well, sweetie, I think you can understand my worry. That's not usually something a college sophomore just up and does. So we're at college. We have parents who are slightly negligent. We haven't been home for a couple of years because we've been at college. What else are we gonna learn? Honey, you can tell me if something happened. Mom, I'm fine, really. She says mom, but I'm saying mum because I'm British, fuck you. Can we talk about this another time? Just talk to your mother! There's clearly something wrong. I want to know what's wrong. I'm sure the game hog watchers all do. Fuck. Subscribe. You wouldn't happen to know where Greg is, would you? Greg? Old Greg. Greg's working down the snack falcon. That's not her voice. In the town center. Where's my click clack? The voice is going to change a lot. I think I'll run over and say, hey, we have a snack falcon now? Oh yeah, it's so handy. You know, ever since the food donkey went out. <laughs> the food donkey is gone? Oh yeah, going on almost a year now. Wow, where does everyone shop? Everyone goes out to the Ham Panther by the highway now. But I see your little friend Greg when I go into town. Wow, the food donkey's gone. We have a snack falcon. It's a whole new world, sweetie. A whole new world. Well, have a good time out there. Lots to explore, see what's changed. I will, mum. Just watch out for all the construction. Okay, well it wouldn't be fall in Possum Springs without loads of construction, eh, mum? It's so festive, honey. I'll be back later. Bye, sweetie. Right, let's fucking go, May. Home again. Good, we're in part one. Lovely. Okay, so this is my nice little hoose. Oh God, I thought I was gonna get hit by that car. Yeah, oh, friends, I've got friends. Hi, guys. Oh, could I be your friend? Oh, d oh, shit, I didn't mean to balance on this. Fuck. Hi there, Mr. Goat, raking his front drive. Hi, Mr. Twigmire. May, is that you? May, is that you? Sure is. You home for a visit? Nope, I'm home for good. What, they not have college anymore? Nope, it burned down. Not for me at least. Nope, it burned down. Well, I'm sure you burned it down. These allegations, Mr. Twigmire. I ain't allegating. I'm just trying not to burn my lawn down, you firebug. Oh, I misread. Fuck you. Wow, I love how this game looks and feels. This is magnificent. What a stunning achievement in gaming this is already for story games. Hello, fat hoodie wearing bear. Get out of my way. Get out of the way. Hi, I'd like to speak to you. Selmers! I need to come up with a good voice for this. Uh, what you doing, home? Dropped out. Whoa. Oh, I said home as if you meant homes. I meant, what are you doing at home? Fuck, I'm bad at reading. So how have you been? Okay. Me and Dennis split. Oh no. Yeah, you got a job in a new prison over in Brittle. 
and he met some girl at a gas station. Wow, what a jerk. Yeah, he's a free agent. I guess. I'm not gonna keep talking to you, you're kinda of boring. Hello! We've got a nice looking bear and a bird. Hello! What you doing on my porch? Okay, fine, I won't talk to you, fucking grumpy old man. Hey, Mr. Chaz- Chazakov! Hello, me, my best worst student. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Like the constellations, hated school. Hey, do not school, school is vital for your future. What are you doing back in Possum Springs? I dropped out of school. Oh. <laughs> well, if you're still interested in constellations, come by my roof down the hill later this week. Should have my new telescope set up by then. Sure thing. That sounds fun. Stars. Stars. Even more stars. Hey, look, it's the guy who got in my way. You look remarkably like my father. Speak to me. Speak to me. Okay, fine. Fuck you. I'll just go with this squirrel, my real friend. Oh, fuck. Hey, look, it's, uh, forget animal friends. I've got friends who are animals. Hey, cat, bird, and alligator chum. Hey, it's the Harleys. What are you doing? Little Joe, you're under arrest. Oh, wow. Kids still talk about little Joe? You kids know what DNA is. Ghosts don't have DNA. Yeah, ghosts don't have DNA. Hey, lady, can you leave us alone? She is a woman. Thank you for clearing that up for me before Tumblr went nuts. Can you leave us alone? Yeah, leave us alone, lady. Lady? Wait, so are we not a girl? Or is it because we're a young girl and they think because we're calling them lady that she's being a fa- I don't know. Danny, right? Yep. I think you were a senior when I was a freshman? Probably. How's it going? Just lost my job. Oh. They say construction's always hiring. But it's not. In fact, it's often laying off guys named Dan. What are you gonna do? I'm open to suggestions. Don't give up. I'm sure someone in town is hiring. I've been out of work uh, for a year before. This time, uh, I only lasted six months uh, before being laid off. Do you know what that does to a resume? Why is everyone kind of like a New York gangster today? I don't know. I have a zombie resume. Brains, walking slowly, biting people. I'm good at all of it. It's dead, but somehow it's still going all over the place. Oh, I see what you, what you actually did there. I don't have a job either. Oh man, sorry to talk your ear off about it. How are you holding up? Good, just dropped out of college and I'm living with my parents. Oh, so you're basically a teenager again. No, I'm just an adult living with her parents. Oh, okay, so it's not like you're unemployed. It's like you're lacking a daytime hobby. That pays money that you don't need for rent. Okay, I'm gonna get going. Yeah. Wow, some of the people in this town are real dicks. Town center platform. Does this mean this is some kind of train station? Ooh, can I... What? Oh, okay. Oh. Casey Hartland at Possum String. Last... Oh, wait, I'll trace it with my finger. Last seen at dusk on June 27th, walking westward along the tracks behind a former... Uh, food donkey. He was wearing a black hooded... Sweatshirt, jeans, and a black... Uh, canvas shoes. That's all I can do before I really go nuts. Oh, that's just patronizing. Who would leave this here? Well, this is just... This is just yarn! Oh man, it bounces! Oh, it's a rubber band ball! No way! Dude, this is fucking... I'm having so much fun! Sorry, uh, missing. I can't take any of this with me, so I'm not really sure what the point is. Uh, scrapbooking Odyssey. Katie Washington has never lost a child. Uh, the fact that you had to stipulate that in your advert means I won't be hiring you to look after my daughter and or son. Okay, so just listening there, the cars... It's people making mouth noises. But the sounds of it, one of the cars going past was a guy going... It's pretty cool, eh? I'm a car. See? And where exactly are you planning on going? I don't know, Ham Panther? But honey, you're only gonna get minimum there. And I hear they're murder. This place is murder. I don't think I can handle one more incoming call. I wake up sometimes because I hear that bing noise. Nowadays, I just get a sleeping aid. Works wonders. We shouldn't have to drug ourselves to get ourselves to sleep back from this job. That's a good point. Well, Ham Panther isn't gonna give you a bonus. Ham Panther doesn't even have a leaderboard. But it isn't calls, it isn't sales. I wouldn't be waiting for that bing. I don't know, honey. Maybe you'll have a good shift today and get on that leaderboard, and we'll see how you feel then. I guess, but it won't change anything. Coffee. Cigarettes. Coffee. Cigarettes. 
coffee, cigarettes. Everyone here is very, very troubled in their own way. It seems there's some kind of uh, economic housing crisis. Not housing crisis, but some kind of job market crisis. Hey, killer. Whoa, whoa, don't call me that. Who are you, Laurie M? Uh, how do you even know about the killer thing? I was a... It was a big deal, even to us middle schoolers. Yeah, well, that was a long time ago. And what did the middle schoolers say? You put him in the hospital, and no one knows why. Did he, like, have it coming or something? No. Our mothers just told us not to talk to you, because no one knew you were gonna do it again. Well, say hi to your mum for me. She sounds lovely. Oh, she's gone. Oh, sorry. It's fine. Yeesh. I, I need a minute to process what just happened. <laughs> Every conversation is so loaded with an intense backstory you're not expecting, to the point where it doesn't really add anything to the... to the overall plot of the... Jesus! It doesn't add anything to the overall plot of the game, but it does... It adds charm to the characters, and it makes it feel like there's an actual world, a living, breathing world, where people have problems, and you're not just interacting with this... I mean, they're literally 2D, but you're not acting with two-dimensional characters who tell you the thing you need to do and then disappear forever. I'm liking this a lot. And frankly, I think this is an alright place to stop this episode. So if you guys have enjoyed this and you'd like to see a bit more of it, because I am loving this so far, we may stream a bit more of it, we may carry it on in episodes that are a bit longer, but that's only if you guys like the video, subscribe to GameHog if you already haven't, and leave us a comment letting us know if you would actually like to see more of this, because... I'm loving it so far, and I really, really want to play more of it if you guys want that. Anyway, guys, we will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye, -sies.